Well, another iconic Panama City building, the Martin Theater, is slowly recovering after Hurricane Michael. But as they say, the show must go on. News 13's Erica Orsett has more on how the theater staff are doing everything they can to do just that. It's a landmark site here in Panama City. The Martin Theater closed since Hurricane Michael. The movie nights that used to take place here are now happening across the street at the Center for the Arts. But when will this place be back up and running? We've been told about 18 months, so um, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Barbara McMinnis is the executive director of the Martin Theater, and she says the damage there is heart wrenching. Oh, <laughs> no, you'll make me cry. <laughs> The roof of the building built in 1936 caving in walls completely ripped off and then if you'll recall it was really 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 hot and really 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 humid and the mold bloomed mold everywhere the building had to be gutted but you know it's going to come back and it's going to be better she told us rebuilding is still in the planning phase and for now theater programming like monster movie mondays has been moved to the center for the arts as for all the knickknacks that used to be inside the theater we're having one heck of an of a white elephant sale on saturday june 29th the theater will be selling props costumes and set items that they can't keep during the rebuild we hope that everybody will show up and grab a grab a piece of the martin but the big question remains the neon, will the neon be fixed? <laughs> Barbara says that classic glow is here to stay. It will look exactly like it did. I've been assured by many people that that's exactly what's going to happen. For News 13, I'm Erica Orstad, Panhandle Strong.